A new wave of disruptive technology is radically changing our world. Characterized by connectivity, intelligence and adaptability, the fourth industrial revolution, or 4IR, represents an immense transformation. AI, the Internet of Things, autonomous robotics and data analytics are just some examples of 4IR technology already impacting our everyday lives. The rise of these emerging technologies offers huge potential for positive societal change. From more personalised services to seamless transport systems and better citizen security. But for organisations in complex industries such as defence, security and critical infrastructure, it also presents considerable challenges. Trying to safely put 4IR into practical use with the assurance that these technologies will operate effectively every time is difficult because there are so many factors that need to be considered before they can be implemented in the real world. There are always immediate and expected technical challenges to address. 4IR is no different. It gives us the chance to completely rethink the type of capabilities we want to have available, but it also requires us to ensure that the technology moves from concept to reality safely. Organisations in mission-critical environments cannot risk undertaking rapid wholesale technical changes. Instead, 4IR technology needs to be complementary to existing systems and integrated incrementally. The technical solutions for how to make that integration work effectively and reliably still need to be developed. To do that, we need to experiment with these emerging technologies, test their resilience, identify their potential, and evaluate their ability to perform in hostile environments. We also need to appreciate that there are significant financial considerations. At a practical level, whilst not all 4IR technologies are expensive to acquire, they can be expensive to adapt for effective use. So we need robust ways to evaluate the true costs of developing them and balance investment against the positive impact they can have. At a larger scale, 4IR has the power to change market economics, stimulating the creation of entirely new business models, reducing barriers to entry for some, and enabling those already capitalising on the digital economy to scale up exponentially. People will always be involved in any technically driven capability, but 4IR will fundamentally change the nature of that relationship. Questions about accountability, control and chain of command need to be part of the deployment process. We need to reconsider how we think about human factors as a critical part of a successful 4IR development. We have to build user experience and understanding into the development process when deciding how to exploit these emerging technologies. And what about the ethical impact of deploying 4IR in such mission-critical environments? If we're implementing technology with greater intelligence, we need to consider the moral dilemmas this can raise. Should a driverless car value your life over a pedestrian's? How much trust should be placed in artificial intelligence? How do we avoid unintended consequences? As we enter a new digital age, we need a new set of morals that align. We need to make ethics as important as the disruptive nature of the tech itself. This is just the start. There are also legal, environmental, social and political factors that affect the successful activation of a 4IR world. They all need due consideration as we begin to deploy emerging technology into these challenging and complex environments. This industrial revolution gives defence, security and critical infrastructure organisations a brand new toolbox for improving people's security, enabling safe transportation, securing energy supplies, protecting the infrastructure on which everyone relies and keeping people safe. But because of the scale of impact that this shift represents, harnessing the value through effective deployment requires us to consider a huge range of second-order issues beyond the expected technical challenges as part of moving 4IR from concept to practical capability, creating proven advantage.